Hi streamers, I'm BBXH. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to use Media Request with OBS.Live. Media Request allows you to play media from YouTube directly onto your stream. You can do this, either make it free for your viewers, they can use their stream elements loyalty points, or they can request it using their tips to you. This is a great way for you to boost your stream engagement and potential revenue as well. If you're not using OBS.Live yet, it's a Stream Elements add-on to OBS Studio, integrating Twitch and Stream Elements directly to OBS, adding chat, media requests, activity, everything all in one. It's your one-stop shop and you can customize it. Let me show you to make it your own, exactly how you want it to be set up with the chat, the media request, everything all on one side, on multiple sides. You can see anything that you want to do. You can see your viewership right here. You can increase or decrease the text size totally to your liking. It's very customizable. First off, I want to mention that it's important that media requests will not work unless you have the media request on the overlay, which I'll explain how to do in this video. If you're already using the media request from the Stream Elements website, it should already be launched and ready to go for you. If this is your first time using media request, then there's a short onboarding setup that I'm gonna show you now. So let's go through it together by first clicking, let's take a tour. After clicking take a tour, that is the menu that's going to pop up for you. Take a sample YouTube link, paste it in there, click add media. From there, you'll click add media widget to your overlay. Very simple. All right after that, you will see that it will add the media widget to your overlay and it shows media requests here in my obs.live. Now when I'm ready, I can click show on stream shows the video on the stream for you. And next, if you want to take the video off, once it's playing, you can also select stop showing on stream to cancel the video and just leave the audio on the overlay. Next, it's time to activate audience request, including the request type. There are three mods, free, paid, or free and paid. I'll choose free and paid because I want my viewers to be able to request songs via loyalty points or tips. You can set the free to be used for loyalty points. So I'll go ahead and select that there and click activate audience requests. Now that we've finished the setup, let's review the main settings of the media request and the media request dashboard. And remember to share with your viewers to redeem media with the song request command in your chat, which I'll show you I can do directly on OBS Live. I don't even have to go into my Twitch chat to do it. And as you see, now it pops up onto the media request queue right there. To review, remember that you can toggle the viewer request on and off by easily clicking the widget on the overlay. You can also stop showing the video on stream and just hear the audio or click it right back on if you want to. Uh, you can do the video on and off with the toggle switch right here as well, which makes it super simple. Then the player is pretty self-explanatory. You have the media volume right here. As you can see, it's going up and down as I use it. There is the play, pause, and skip to the next song, which I can use right here. You can add in the next video to your queue by just pasting and clicking enter or clicking the little arrow there you can completely remove all songs from the queue if you want to everything is at your fingertips and right there on your overlay and on your obs so that way as you're streaming you can do things on the fly quickly if you need to next if you click the more icon on a song on your queue you'll see your options here you can ban the viewer ban the track ban both the viewer and the track or remove the track from the queue Lastly, I want to go through the main settings with you guys. If you want advanced details on the settings, there is a full media request tutorial linked in the description box below. In the settings, first and foremost, you can see Q moderation. If you turn this on, that means that you or one of your moderators will have to approve a pending song before it actually is added to the queue. Under the media request mo mode, you can easily interchange the way that people redeem them. Under loyalty, you can set the cost of your loyalty points for a media request. Tipped requests, you can see that you can prioritize the tipped requests over a loyalty request or a free, and also set the cost per second if you would like to. And last but not least, if hotkeys are your preference, you can also set the hotkeys for the player as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial video today. Make sure that you join our Stream Elements community on Discord, which I have linked below 
below in the description box. And don't forget to download the OBS.live, which I'm using right now to make streaming way easier for you guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.